Hi and welcome again. We talked about bubble charts in another video as well, on how to use bubbles in our portfolio and program management. In this specific video, we will talk about bubble charts and risk management. A bubble chart is a variation of scatter chart in which the data points are replaced with bubbles. If you look at the diagram here, and the table here, you will notice that each of these are plotted based on their x-axis and y-axis. An additional feature that's added to bubble charts is the size of the bubbles, which equals to the cost. That's what it makes it different from scatter diagrams. In scatter diagrams, all the data points of our same size, while in bubble charts, they are of varying sizes. The reason is that the bubble charts represent the data in three dimensions, the probability, the impact, and the size of the bubble, which is the cost of each risk. So how are the bubble charts created? Let's go step by step, use this conditional formatting, and create this chart. Okay, in order to get there, let's start with color coding first. Select all these cells, go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, and select between. If my values are between minus three and three, which is almost the mean value for that one, custom format, and come to fill, the color should be gold, okay? Same, let's go and again to highlight cells rules between, if it's between minus three and minus five, it will be low, the color should be green. So we'll come to format to fill, the color should be green. Okay, this, again we come here, highlight cell rules, go to between, and then if it's between 3 and 5, which is extremely high, you will select the color as red. Go to fill and color them in red. Okay, so the color coding is done. So now in order to create the bubble charts, select the probability column, the impact column, and the cost column. Go to insert, other charts, and bubble charts. Next thing is, like we have shown here, we will show the information on each of the bubbles. In order to do that, you will click on this, you will go to add data labels, and they will show the values like four or five for each one. Let's click this, right click, and format data labels, and see, this is the Y value. What we want to see is the bubble size. We'll untick the Y value, and let's put them in the center of each bubble. Moreover, let's color code these bubbles. Let's color code them based on their impact color. If the impact color is green, we'll put the green color on them, and if it's red, we'll put the red color. Let's select this one. The $1,700 one, the impact color is red. We'll go to format. We will go to shape fill. We will select red. I'll do the same for the rest. I'll come back to you. So this is how our final product looks like. The vertical axis is the impact. The horizontal axis is the probability. For example, the risk number six has a probability of minus two, which is somehow low, and the impact is high, or extremely high, five. So it's shown here. Come to this risk with $50 costs. That's risk number three. The probability is somehow low, and the impact is very low. So this is how bubble charts are represented and how they are created in Microsoft Excel. And this is the way and the method that you use them in your reports for your senior management. If you like the contents in this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you very much.